Ah, hello. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are all having a good day today because today's video, I'm going to show you a little bit about what I did back in China, which of course was teaching English. So some of the things that I really loved about the job was that our classroom was all based around competitive learning and com you know games and all this kind of things in the classroom. So it was a really fun thing for me to invent lots of new games and ways to keep it interesting to motivate the kids to try harder because they really love that competition and they really want to win the game at the end of the class. And of course, if they do win, they get some reward, which is some fake money, which they can use to buy toys and stuff, kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese or Peter Piper pizza. But yeah, this was a really cool thing that we got to do, and I made lots of different games over the years. So I have a plan to kind of make an entire series or maybe even a whole other channel just based around teaching the, uh, the games that I've come up with and how to play them. Some of them are a little bit complicated, so they're a bit daunting for some people. But <clears throat> for me, I always found it very fun to do, and the kids can learn it and get into it as well. If you are wondering where I am today, hmm, well, I'm in my old bedroom. This is the bedroom that I grew up in. I'm back in my mom and dad's house for a few months until I get settled in. And as you can see, there's my dog sleeping lazily on the bed, taking up all the room in this super awesome soft lighting that I've got set up. Very professional, I know. But until I get a new house, this is what I got to work with. So here we are. Hope you enjoy. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Evan Hillis, and yes, I do have a mustache because it is November, also known as Movember, and I'm wearing a mustache to promote awareness for prostate cancer, which is very common in men, and including people in my family, most notably my father, who had some removed recently and has just gotten an MRI the last week to see if he's good. So. Please send your thoughts and prayers out to him if you're that kind of person that does that, and I would really appreciate it. And other than that, guys, let's just get into the video. This game is called Dragon Slayer. It's one of the first games I ever made, and it's basically like darts where you're throwing something at a target and you're subtracting points until you get to zero. The only difference is that the target is a big drawing of a dragon. So let's see how it works. Flashback. All right, guys. Hello, everyone. I'm gonna teach you how to play a new game. Just for one second. All right, guys. I'm gonna teach you how to play a game using three things. We're gonna need this, which is called a sticky ball, or any kind of ball or something that can stick to a whiteboard. Of course, we're gonna need a whiteboard and a marker. That's it. Just those three things to play this game in pretty much any classroom. All right. Let's get started. to draw the dragon for Dragon Slayer. So this game is called Dragon Slayer. This is the bread and butter game that I like to play with my students, that I can teach them how to play all the other games. So first, draw the team's character here. You can just draw a stick figure like this. Hey, Susan, hello. Welcome to class. All right. What are you doing? Oh, I'm making a, a video on Dragon Slayer. Oh. Yes. Interesting. Maybe you can help me. Show no, me. I'm not good at drawing. Oh, it's okay. You can just throw the sticky ball if you want to. Aaron, I don't hmm. know if it is. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. All right. So I draw the soldier right here. You can give them some more. Body or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, no, it just has some long, long helmet. helmet. Yes, helmet hair. Maybe this guy has a bow and arrow or something. Hmm. Something to make him look very cool. All right. Looks like a grandma. Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Then I'm going to draw the dragon. So first the face right here. So if you are good at drawing, you can follow this step. So first I'll draw the horns, like that. That's one half. The other half. And then the nose. And then the eyes. 
teeth. With nasty big pointy teeth. All right, then we have the face. Hey, come on in. <laughs> All right, now for the neck. Long neck, here. And then I'll draw the wings up here. All right, like this. Hello, Matthew. So now we have our dragon. Here is the most sensitive part, right in the forehead. This is gonna be a times six damage multiplier. If you hit anywhere in the face, it's gonna be times four. If you hit in the neck, this is another small one, this will be times five. If you hit in the chest, nice big one, this will be times three. Anywhere else on the body is times two, and anywhere on the wings is gonna be times one. So during the class, each team will get points, and we're gonna be using cards to show how many points we have. So let's say anything that the student does, you give them a point, one card. That's one point. Oh, good job, one point. Oh, you answered a question, good point. Oh, you are the first to line up, good point. You get a point. All right, at the end of the class, we count. How many cards do we have to see how many points we have? Let's just pretend that this team has, I don't know, 50 points, and this team has 40 points. That is their A, their attack damage value. So you multiply their points, and I usually round up to the nearest five or the nearest 10 just to make it easier. Uh, you multiply that by wherever they hit on the dragon. Then I will choose how much hearts or how much life the dragon has. So I'll draw a heart, one for this team and one for this team. And let's say I'll multiply the highest points by 10 to determine how many points the dragon has. So this, the dragon has 500 HP or health points. And then the students take turns throwing the ball at the dragon and you subtract whatever their attack times whatever part of the dragon that it hits from the life and I'll slowly do -do 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 bye bye the life or take away the life until first team that gets the dragon to zero is the winner and that is how we play. Let's see. Alright, so here is the dragon. Alrighty, and we got Matthew. Hi. Hello. And Susan, Hi. gonna show us how. Susan and Matthew, why don't you guys rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. All right, Matthew, you're the winner, so you get to go first. So Matthew's gonna throw the ball from this circle. Oh, wow, he hit the face. That's gonna be 50 times four. Oh my goodness, so that is 200 points. Subtract 200 from 300, or from 500 equals 300. All right, very good. Susan, your turn. Thank you. Whoa, my goodness. Oh my gosh, she got a times six. That's 40 times six is 240. Bye bye, 240. That leaves you with 260. Wow, big hit on the dragon. All right, Mr. Matthew, your turn again. Oh, another face. Oh my goodness, bye bye 200. <laughs> All right, Susan, let's see what you got. Oh, miss, good try though. All right, Mr. Matthew, let's see. Oh, right in the center of the forehead. Oh my gosh, but the dragon still has one life left. This is how I'll play. So the dragon has one more hit point to finish it off, giving this team a chance to come back. Ooh, all right, we'll count it as times four. That's 160. All righty, and final hit to finish it off. Finish him. Oh, right in the face. Blah, 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 blah. Shing, shing. All right, this team is the winner. Yay. All right, congratulations. So that's how it's played. And you can play with two students or oh, two teams and have each kid rotate as they throw the ball. All right, and that is Dragon Slayer. 
Okay, so if you're bad at drawing, I can show you a simpler way to draw the dragon. Let me show you something like this. So, you can just use big shapes, like a triangle, and maybe some more triangles. It's a fox. Sure, it could be a fox. <laughs> All right, then a big rectangle uh -huh. for the neck. Yes, it's then a big a oval for the body. Hey! All right, and then maybe some more triangles like this or something. I don't know. It's kind of a wing triangle, whatever. I don't know. But as, a, as you can see, you don't need to be great at drawing to learn how to play this game. You just need something simple like this. Eyes. Then you can draw some eyes, maybe some nose, maybe some teeth to make him look more scary. Put on some more triangles to add to it. And there you go, same thing. Times six for the forehead, times four for the face, times five right here, times three down here, times two here, and these are times one. And all the rest of the rules still apply. So here's a much more simple way to draw it, uh, which gets the point across. I'll also be posting a uh, digital version, so if you have a projector or if you have a screen like that, you guys can use that on a smart board or something like that and have the more detailed drawing of the dragon. All right. Hope you enjoy, hope you can play this game. This is the building block of all the other games because it teaches the kids about the idea of attack points and health points and subtracting from the health points to win. So this is kind of the foundation of a lot of other games I play and it really helps uh, everyone understand the rules. All right, thank you, bye-bye. Yeah, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, thank you. <laughs>